In a time like this, the more experiments you run, the more likely you are to succeed. Hi, you've all heard of fintechs, right? These techy, agile startups invading the financial industry. Well, did you know we already have around 40 partnerships with these guys? But who are they? And why are we teaming up with our competitors? Well, there's one nice case in this building, and it's called something like Tweep. But first, enjoy this fintech selfie. Hi, my name is Perry, and I'm a growth manager at WeLab. It's a fintech startup that's headquartered in Hong Kong. Now, I'll take you on a brief tour of our office and introduce you to our core management team. The objective of eLab is to use your most personal device, your mobile phone, to do uh, credit analytics, to provide cheap and efficient access to credit to anyone and everyone in China. We started WeLab in 2013 in a 200 square foot office in Hong Kong. Now we have 2.8 million users and 200 employees. It feels great to be part of the ING family and we look forward to meeting all of you soon. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Is it TWIP, 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 TWIP? It's TWIP. Congratulations with your new place. Thanks. Yeah, we actually moved here yesterday, so that's really cool. Yeah, our new house. Looks a bit empty. It is, it yeah. is. Yeah, I brought some. Oh, wow, thanks. <laughs> hey, guys, we got a present. Can I open it? Yeah, sure. It's the real, it's the real thing. Right? Before we start talking to these TWIP guys, let's first ask our own head of fintech. Hey Benoit, what are we doing with these fintechs? Teaming up with them is more effective. You know, why would we think about reinventing everything? Why it, was, it, it is already existing? People everywhere are developing those softwares, which are, I think, sometimes more effective than ours. And we should also be going out of the market to buy, to take, to partner with those people instead of trying to develop everything ourselves. TWIP, remind me, what is it again? It's a peer-to-peer -peer social payment app. You use TWIP to send money to your friends using your mobile phone and your mobile phone number instead of iBands. So it's chat and payments combined in one. We have uh, 230,000 users at the moment. So that's amazing, a lot of people using TWIP. So you're an in-house startup? Yeah, we're TWIP by ING. And how are you different from normal? ING department. We started launching our minimal viable product to learn from our customers instead of waiting until it's fully developed. So what's the next milestone? Actually, I need you for that. So let's go. Oh, okay. Hello, this is Benoit again. I'm in London today. Here is the next uh, selfie of FinTech. So enjoy. Hi, my name is Mike Leary. I work for a company called EM Bonds and I want to tell you a little bit about us today. Uh, we're a fintech startup. Um, so what we do is we're an electronic trading platform and we're trying to change the way that emerging market bonds are traded in the secondary market. So EM Bonds started off here on the 39th floor, which is the home of the buzzing fintech accelerator known as Level 39. And let me just show you around there. So here are the guys. Um, in London office we have sales, legal, um, client support, uh, infrastructure. Once you join the platform, you will be able to trade with a multitude of counterparties without having to establish a one-to-one -one relationship. We have developed tools for smaller market makers to be able to publish prices on our platform via simple Excel tools. And that is also a unique selling point that does not exist in alternative trading venues. Okay, fintechs are fast, but how about us? How to speed up a big bank like ING? This guy can tell us. I met him at Breaking Barriers, a fintech event in Amsterdam. Most traditional management is much more based on planning and forecasting. It's much more based on politics and uh, consensus negotiation. And as a result, it's more conservative. And it doesn't allow the range of experiments. It doesn't allow the range of creativity that's needed. Whoever learns fast wins. That's the only source of durable competitive advantage in this world. I've worked with a lot of companies that, that you would think from the outside, there's no way they could make the transformation. But they have. I've seen it with my own eyes. So it is possible. It can be done. It's a question of do you have the will uh, and the desire to make it happen. So what do you want me to do? 
Actually, I want you to publish the new version of the app. So if you press that button, it will be live in Spain and the Netherlands. Five, four, three, two, one. Yes. Yes. Oh, congratulations, man. Thank you very much. Congratulations, everybody. Cake. So that was it. Yes, we need fintech. But what about people? What about the human touch? So this is your challenge for the next episode. Take your smartphone, hold it like this, and show us where's the human touch within ING. And here's an example from Amstel V. Good luck. This is our brand office ING, where we help our customers every day with the best service and the best coffee as well. Here in Amstelveen, we don't see our customers as numbers. That's why we don't have any number machine. The best human touch is found in my lovely colleagues. Say hi. Hi. And that's the human touch of ING Amstelveen.